coming to ya! No! Not today! Oh! We took a wee bit of a stumble, did we? Oh, that's not good! Did you hurt your knickers? This is my favorite vacuum! Did your knickers fall off? What are you doing there? Are you vacuuming? I was cleaning this one! I swear, if you broke it, I'm serious. Why are you always cleaning? I'm serious, I don't even know who you are. You broke this thing, you're paying for it, somehow. Somehow. What, you have that OCD? Is that the problem? You got them, that OCD? No, I don't have OCD, I'm fine. I like the vacuum. I like the, uh, I like seeing the lines in the carpet. You know, sometimes you, 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 when things feel like you got no control over things, you know, it's, it's nice to remind yourself you got some control over a lot of things. Like vacuuming, right? Which is what I was doing before you, whoever you are, interrupted. What's wrong with you? Are you okay? <coughs> Just a little, uh... Okay, I'm a little, I'm a little stressed. I'm a little, uh... Well, you're being a bit traumatic, don't you know? A little overwhelmed. This is supposed to be for entertainment purposes and all. You know, it's not just me either. It's like everybody. Everybody seems to be all, uh, everybody's stressed out. I don't even know. Who are you? Who are you? Ah, you should lighten up a little bit, Jake. And who are you? I take things too seriously. Oh. Hmm. None of this is real, you know. None of it. It's not Israel. You're Israel. Get it? Is Rael. Israel. I'm not real. You is real. Israel's. Jacob Israel's. Oh, that's a funny thing, don't you think? It's not Israel. I get enough of that in the comment section. It's Israel. And who are you? Who am I? Don't be born in lucky charms. Give it away. The Irish conspiracy theorist in me. Right, okay, okay. We did that bit like uh, two weeks ago. The Irish conspiracy terrorist in you, you say? No! Not at all. That wouldn't be very creative of ya. My name's McGlynn. McGlynn? Jimmy McGlynn. McGlynn? So now that we're acquainted, you're gonna tell all them fancy schmancy people on YouTube about the coincidence you found from last week till today. Hmm? I don't know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about, cage birds. But before we get into all that, why don't you address the fact that there's so many people out there that come out there in the name of God. They come and they say, the Lord told me this and the Lord told me that. And the Lord told them nothing. Nothing. Yeah, well, I mean, people are going to say what they're going to say. They're going to do what they're going to do. You know, whether or not they believe that that's true. You know, who knows? Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes people are misled on purpose so that people can find the truth. So, I mean, who am I to judge, right? Who am I to judge? I don't want to judge. Let's get back to why we're here, though. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You posted something on Twitter about it. And what are you still doing on Twitter? Especially now with the bird watch. I, I just, like, signed up for Twitter last year. I, like, literally... I mean, I just got on there, would I? You know? I can't believe you're still on the platform with all their shenanigans. With the fact check this and the fact check that and the this and the that and the that and the this. It's madness, you know. It's madness. They're going to be sending little bird watchers to watch over little birdies. And they're going to put the birdies in the cages. Just like you said in the video. Like a day prior. Maybe if you came out and you said that God told you that. That, that, that maybe you'd have more subscribers. But no, you don't do that, do you, Jake? You don't. Does it bother you a wee bit? People still listen to these people all the time. Don't care much about the things of God, though, do they? You know what I'm talking about! All I want to do is clean my house and you come on here with your little, with your flute and your thing and your that and your that and you're playing your games and all this stuff and it's like, it's like, seriously. <laughs> Mind your own business, pal. Well, you could kiss me Blarney Stone if you expect me to be on Twitter. No one, no one asked for you. No one asked you to come in here and give me a hard time. Are you still on there? I mean, I just got on there, would I? You know? Oh, that's because you're old. I'm not old. Sure you're not. That's why you go to bed at 6.30, like a wee old man. That's because of Danielle. Sure it is. You blame Danielle for everything, don't you? She gets up at like 3 in the morning. It's like, 
It's like ridiculous. She starts her work because everything's, now she's hybrid, right? So uh, she's got to worry about the kids at, the, at home and she's got to worry about teaching them and then she's got to teach the kids in the class and then she's teaching the kids in the class and the kids at home at the same time and she's being filmed the whole time, right? So she gets stressed out, so she works extra hard. She's got to like come up with one thing for this group of people, group A, group B. It's like ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Dan, the Dan Dan's working so hard and she loves these kids so much. It's like she gets up that early. She goes to bed. She goes to bed. She gets home. And she's like, the first thing she wants to do is put on her, uh, her, um, her PJs, her comfy clothes. If you're not old, what's this then? That's right. Just for men. Just for men. You ain't fooling anybody, old man. That's for my, um, for my gray hair, because, um, what's it for then? Yeah, because I'm getting old, okay? Because I'm getting old, okay? That make you feel better? All right, yeah, I'm gonna be 50, okay. Okay, we get it. We get it, Irish. Me liked your last video, though. You, you did? You, li you liked it? It was, it was good? Yeah? It was good. I liked it. It was very good. The whole, the whole cage birdies thing. You mean, it seemed like you were right on track with that one. I, uh, I thought it was pretty obvious, the whole, uh, you know, caging the birds, it was a symbolic thing, you know, can we, and the idea, the reason why I titled it, Will the Caged Bird Sing, is because it's like, so what, you know, you're in a cage, can you still sing, can you still sing praises to God, right, that's what I'm doing, that's what I'm doing, things are good, things are good, especially when everything's nice and clean and I vacuum, what you mean by the cage birds though? You know, the bird represented the, uh, you know, the spirit of God, the truth of God, and will the world try to, uh, you know, silence it? Yeah, you're worried that the world is going to come after the truth of God? I don't know. And it's going to shut you down because you're worried that perhaps there's, like, the government wants everybody to worship the government. And, and you're not going to worship the government, but the, you're scared. You're scared they're going to come over you and they're going to cage you like an old bird. Because you're an old birdie, Jake. That's what you are. What? No, no, no. Why are you so dark? You're so dark. Why are you so, you, you sound like somebody who's scaring a bunch of people. Cut it out. Who knows? Everybody's going to be watching your birdie tweets, your little old birdie tweets. Maybe it's a bad, not a bad thing. Maybe it's, uh, maybe really they're going to get rid of bad people. You know, maybe it's, you know, why has everything got to be so scary? You know, so maybe it's not a bad thing. Why don't we change the tune? Why don't we try to hope for the best? Right? Huh? Maybe it's not a big deal, this guy says. Oh, you got 25,000 troops freezing their arshes in some basement somewhere. I think, I think that perhaps it's a big deal. Where else am I supposed to go? Where else am I supposed to go? Tell me, tell me. Come on. I'm waiting. Oh, you could go to parlor. Wait, no, no, you don't want to go there, I guess. The way I look at it is if I'm meant to reach more people, I'll reach more people. If I'm not, and, you know, and I'll ask for people's help. You know, maybe they could share the videos around. You know, tell people, you know? Sure, 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 sure. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, after bird watch your stain, I know. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. Listen, McGlynn, all right? I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> all right, I got a lot of things on the plate. I got a lot of things. I got my beautiful family. I've been blessed, so blessed. And it's like, I just want to do the right thing. I mean, I, I, if I, if I got to worry about going to this place or that place or this place, I got to worry about what I'm going to say all the time. I mean, really. What's going on here? Really, am I living my life? No, no, I'm gonna live my life. If God, uh, God's gonna move me from one place to another place. So you know what? I don't need your, uh, I don't need you getting me all worried. Not because you're old, fear-based nonsense. Should you get your walker for you to walk you over to Twitter so you can put out your tweets so the birdies can come over and watch your birdie tweet? I'm not that old. See you later, Mufuzala. Click it.